All right, guys. I'm sure I look very tired. I am very tired. Uh, my package came today. So, you know, as a keeper, that is one of the best days ever. Anyway, um, it happened to come where basically it would be your guys' 2, 3 a.m. middle of the night. Uh, I work nights three days a week, and I would put a note on the door saying, hey, expecting an important package. Knock like you're the police. The delivery man did so. I woke up, and I now am freshly ready to unbox this thing. I checked on them to make sure they're alive. That's why it's cut open. I do this with any unboxing video I've ever done, whether it be this count or whatever. But I do that because I don't want you guys to see me, you know, all sad as shit if, uh, if they didn't make it. But uh, fortunately, well packaged as always. We're going to do a review on them. Uh, this package is from Pinchers and Pokies, LLC. Um, they're a name I've seen around quite often. But I've not actually seen very many people order that from them. I've not seen very many unboxings from them. Um, most people do Fear Not, Palp, Friction, you know, the big names. These guys always have a really good stock. I've been checking them out for a while. Um, they have a really good stock comparable to Fear Not. But they have stuff that the main ones don't even have. Like stuff that is sought after in the hobby, but just doesn't seem to be in stock anywhere else and i think it's simply because not many people know about them they are a great company i actually talked to one of the people and they they don't offer feed freebies on their website but they do say at the discretion they gave them and i said well you know how much would i need to uh invest in you guys to get one they gave me a number I uh, made that work and they actually came through very well. Um, we're gonna get into the unboxing right now. Um, I'll wait to tell you what I got until we do the unboxing. Anyways, so excited, happy keeping guys. All right guys, this package was to replace my dead Singapore blue. Um, not dead by old age, not dead by choice. I will not go into that. Most people already know the situation behind it, but I was hunting one down forever and waiting on my funds to come in to replace it. Fear Not had them in stock, and the day I got my funds, they took them off their listing. So I was very happy to have a good friend of mine who's also in the Ohio group recommend Pinchers and Pokies. And I was like, hey, I've heard that name a couple times, but I've not really, you know, know much about them. They are actually really great. I've already checked to make sure the livelihood is there, like I said. So I already know the package is on point, but I re-put everything back in there just the same so you guys can go through what I went through during the opening process. And since they are an LLC company, they are very upfront with the delivery people. They drop their packages off over around, you know, dinner time the day before it gets sent out. That way it's only sitting in a, you know, night. Anyways, before I accidentally showed my information, uh, they, uh, I was saying they put the package in a FedEx facility around dinner time the night before delivery. That way it's shipped out first thing in the morning. And, uh, you know... It's not sitting around for a day or two in a warehouse or all day, all night, and then shipped out the following day. Um, there was no heat pack in this. I'm not even gonna say that's a complaint, but it is kind of cold outside. It's not super cold, especially today. Today is a really nice day. Um, it's like 60 some degrees, which is okay. Um, I would say I would recommend them do that in the future, but uh, I mean, my package got here, it's well packed, everything's alive, I can't complain. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, guys. Got my handy dandy, well, this isn't my usual catch cup, it's just a cup I picked up, but I got the cup, we're gonna open the box. And 
First key to know that anybody is serious about their packing is when they do the six sides of styrofoam. That is always good. And they use their packing, uh, newspaper, probably got some coupons in there too for free, you know, cool. Just kidding. <laughs> but uh, this is the main hub. I haven't dug into that, but I'm assuming there's nothing there. Let me check. Okay. Yep. Nope. Just packing. All right, guys. I am solo as always. With my videos. Um, I wish I all had help, but unfortunately, she's either working or not willing. So I'm gonna untape this and then start recording again. So I had ordered two different species, and I got freebies. Like, like I'm very happy. This was my replacement for my dead Singapore blue. Otherwise, uh, scientific called Lampropelma violosipes. Um, I'm not sure the size, but I got some enclosures set up. If those aren't the right size, I'll probably have to cut this and do that. I'm also gonna try to figure out how to do this, uh, uh, you know, putting them in their homes with one hand we're gonna see how that goes but anyway i got two blue fang tarantulas uh, one of these will probably be going to lv from tarantula keepers of ohio i will be picking up my free sling from the feeding video from him and he is very excited to own one of these and i t told him i could make that happen so i got two of them I am not even going to try to pronounce that, but if you want the scientific name, Ephibopocyanogonathus. <laughs> that's, that's my attempt on that, guys. Uh, I'm usually like using the scientific names, but I also don't like using them if I can't pronounce them right. I haven't seen a lot of videos on these guys, so I haven't seen someone else more educated than me pronounce them, so... If that's wrong, don't hate on me. And of course, as any free freebie goes, you can kind of expect it to be one of these. I got Brachypelma albopolosum. Uh, this one's Honduran or hobby form. Uh, I already own some Nicaraguans, but you know what? I think I have plans for this one. Kimberly, if you're watching this video, it must be a decent size compared to the others, so um, hopefully this one won't escape on you. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to get into the rehousing portion. I'm sure these guys want out. I want them out. I want to see their beauty. I want to see some tiny blue fangs. I'm so excited, but uh, we're going to get into it. I'm Hopefully, we'll be able to find some sort of stand to lean my phone up on for this. Uh, anyways, let's get into it. All right, guys. I am going to do my most awaited one first, the Lapropelma violas piece, uh, Singapore blue tarantula. Um, it had tape on there. I took it off and forgot to replace it when I put it back in the box for my unboxing. Um, once again, I will say I'm very happy with uh, uh, Pinchers and Pokies. They were very well to work with. These are very well packaged in their vials, very well packaged in their box. Um, I recommend them highly. They have a huge stock. Uh, comparable to Fear Not, but a lot of pokies and things that you don't usually see in stock out of the wear. Um, so I'm going to try and do this one-handed, or not one-handed, without my tongs, because I forgot my tongs. Um, if I need to stop the video and go get them, I will. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm going to stop and get my tongs because I just realized I'm dealing with uh, three old worlds. Um, I'm, I am going to attempt to probably handle the Singapore blue if it lets me and the blue fang. But as for the pulling it out of here, I'm going to get some tongs for that. One second. All right, guys. So I already know what to expect from these guys. I'm probably gonna need my catch cup. 
but we're gonna find out really quick what this guy's temperament is. Wow, they wet it down a lot. Here I am not using my tongs that I just went out of my way to get. Oh well. Wow. Very, very pretty. We're gonna get a better look though, cause I've been waiting for this for a while now. Oh my goodness. Come on, I know you're alive. Stretch it out, girl. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. I can't flip my camera around doing the video, but there we go. Yeah, Singapore blue isn't blue until adulthood and even then uh they're sexually diformic meaning the males and females look different with color and pattern wise but this thing is still gorgeous and a well-fed specimen well you know how they do I knew it was going to bolt, but I wanted to attempt it anyway. Very, very beautiful. I'm just only adding to its stress from shipping. So I'm going to take this little bit and say that's enough enjoyment for myself. I'm being greedy at this point. <laughs> there you go <laughs> all right one down guys got this in a 32 ounce deli uh, i have a bunch of these uh, i will be getting uh some more amac boxes and crystal clear enclosures because i want to see this beauty all the time not through this you know, foggy plastic. Very, very happy, guys. All right, three more to go. Long videos, as always. I'm not a YouTuber, don't care to be. If you guys watch it, you watch it. Um, we've got two blue fangs and a Honduran. I'll try to get a good close-up of the blue fangs, though, because the smaller they are, the bluer the fangs. Oh, my goodness. We're about to see that, though. All right. We're going to do the freebie next. Uh, this one's a Bialbopilosum curly hair. Um, the blue fangs are dwarfs, so they're in smaller vials, but I bet you they were probably all bred around the same time. All four of these. Um, ooh, I will say this: Pinchers and Pokies, you're feeding your slings good. I see some nice booties on this so far, and I'm loving it. All right, this one is a new world, so. Obviously, I'm not scared to hold a Singapore blue. This thing ain't gonna cause me no problems. Wow. I have not had a Honduran sling. It's always been Nicaraguan. And I had a lot of them because Mama Shirley had them. 
but even as slings you can see some this small the, as slings this small you can still see some differences compared to uh my Nicaraguan slings or the sling I have left but if you look they're a lot lighter in color and even their urticating hairs at this age are even noticeably different you guys probably can't see that but very well fed um, doesn't even look like it's stressed out I'm gonna get it into its new home um, I'll use that one Oh my gosh, curly hairs are just so chill. I swear, if you ever feel the desire to hold a tarantula, I suggest starting out with a curly hair. Look how chill it is. It's not even phased to be on my skin. Most tarantulas would feel the skin and be freaked out. Uh, I'm going to put it into its home, but I just noticed my camera's kind of foggy. Oh my goodness. What a beaut. So it's in there. Um, not the best enclosure of mine, setup wise, but I give it enough room to bury a little bit. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. So I'll have to go out and get more AMAC boxes, uh, those size. I would put. Uh, this one in there and try to hope that these guys are smaller but those being old worlds and dedicated burrowers i do not want to have to deal with the headache of rehousing one sooner than necessary this guy i'll rehouse every day if i have to so <coughs> width wise it's a decent size but it needs more depth because these like to burrow as slings Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Two blue things. I got to hurry, though. Got to pick up my kids from the babysitter. Uh, I only woke up this early to do this uh, video and unbox some babies. Uh, next, two blue things. All right, I only checked on one of these. Hopefully, both are alive. I'm assuming they're all packaged just saying they should be good. Usually, I like to check all of them before doing these videos, like I said. Uh, I just kind of only checked one for some reason of these. Once again, blue fang tarantula or blue fang skeleton is what they are commonly called. Scientific name, Ephibopus cyanogonophus. That sounded better than my first attempt. Don't hate me if it's wrong. These guys are old worlds. They are dedicated burrowers, which sucks because they are so dang pretty. All right, this is the one I didn't check on. I can tell because the tape's not broken. And it looks fine. Just a little stress posture. I am going to need to cover the enclosures, however, with uh, stockings or pantyhose because they are... Tiny, tiny, tiny. These guys are one of the harder ones to keep if you do not keep them properly, which is why I didn't want to have to reset up anything for the, the bracky. Um, I have these set up to thrive, and hopefully they do. A lot of people say these can be as frustrating as Carabina Versicolors with sudden deaths. But literally, I hope that's not my case, because these things, oh my goodness. Little feetsies. It's so tiny. Oh my goodness. It's so tiny. I don't even think I can get a shot of its fangs. We're going to flip the camera around. Take a look at how big their little pads are on their front feet. And then, oh my goodness. You'll, you'll just see. All right, guys. 
Very beautiful. Very well fed like all the others. Oh, shit. I'm forgetting something, aren't I? Yeah, that could have been bad. Anyway. See if I can get it to unfurl a little bit. Okay. I can see the blue fangs. I don't know if you guys can or not. You have such, you're doing an AVIC walk. It's doing an AVIC walk. Oh, it stopped. The blue isn't vibrant yet. But it is apparent it's blue to me. It probably looks black to you guys, which, you know. Uh, where are you? There you go. So, this is one that's very sought after in the hobby. And not commonly found. But like I said, Pinchers and Pokies will come through, guys. Check out their stock, if anything. I'm going to get this guy into the house and might just skip the last one for time's sake. Unless it's a, a brighter specimen with the fangs, but they're probably from the same sack, so I imagine they're the same size. So pretty. Sorry guys, it was trying to walk away. Anyway, last one. Stop trying to come out. Go make a burrow. That's what you're supposed to do. Anyways, last one I might not record. We'll see. All right, guys, that was so worth my sleep deprivation. <laughs> Sorry, I need to go to bed early tonight anyway. Um, I hope in the pictures that I just took, I, it looks like you can see the blue fangs. It's maybe not as true as you can see it. The second one of the blue fangs did look, uh, I wouldn't say malnourished, um, but the other three specimens were very well fed. Um, with obligated burrowers like this, um, they can be stressful for feeding. You can throw stuff in there and not know if it eats. Uh, you can be scared to throw stuff in there because you can't see it. Um, but I am going to do my best to make sure both thrive. Um, at least until LV gets a hold of me and we uh, do this uh, mutual exchange for my freebie. And he, he said he probably wanted to have one of these blue fangs, which is fine. That means I know where one is if, uh, let's say, he has a male and a female. Anyways, guys, I'm going to say this for our group's sake. I only see, like, three commenters steadily comment. This is a group of people who share a passion for what you share a passion for. Um, that is the least benefit of the group there are other benefits uh breeding um the s word facebook doesn't like to mention uh things like that um the more activity we can bring to this group the better it's gonna be for you that's right for you and everyone in here um lv is doing his best uh with sling giveaways and things like that i, I believe uh we have some other stuff we're thinking about doing to promote activity. Um, but we literally did a sling giveaway for a group of a couple hundred members and got, I think it was like seven or eight valid uh, uh, entries. 
which just blows my mind because if you're passionate enough to join this group for something you're passionate about, wouldn't you want a free sling? I mean, now that I've been made a moderator, which happened in the middle of the contest, I probably will not be, um, if I do participate, it won't be for the prize. Um, I'm not sure yet. I, I don't want anyone to feel like uh, there's any bias because I've been made a moderator. I only asked LV if he needed a moderator because there was some uh, <laughs> obvious stuff flying under the radar that could get our group flagged. And I personally love this group too much to let it go. So I guess let me know in the comments if you guys think I should step out of giveaways. I know you're probably going to be like, yeah, that's more chance for me. But, I mean, honestly, seven people? I mean, you guys should want to see some of my feeding clips. I got some good tarantulas. Anyway, guys, Tarantula Keepers of Ohio and anyone else who's watching, happy keeping. Um, very happy Arachno Dad here. I got to go pick up my kids. I actually got to start dinner, too. Um, this kind of cut into my responsibilities, but also my sleep so um hope you enjoyed at least seeing the spiders and probably not so much me just rambling rambling happy keeping guys